Hello, this is Matthew Kenslow and it is February 29th, 2020. Yes, it's once again the 29th of February leap day. So I just thought I'd make a little video on this channel that has almost everything in it about the origin of leap day. Now, I'm no Neil deGrasse Tyson, so I refer you to him for a more comprehensive um, analysis of leap day, but this is just how I describe it. So the day of the Earth isn't exactly 24 hours, rather 23.9 hours. And on top of that, the revolution of the Earth around the Sun isn't exactly 365 days. It's really 365.24219 days. And you would um, imagine that 0.24219 is so close to 0.25 or a quarter of a day. So every year that goes by is 365 and almost a quarter day. And so we disregard that quarter day and move on to the next year. But the after four years, we've sort of saved up four quarters of a day, which equals one whole day. So we add that on a day like today, February, 29th. However, remember it was 0.24219 days, so it wasn't exactly 0.25 days. So over time, we have overcorrected it, and as it turns out, every 100 years we put in too much. So every 100 years, we have, uh, we don't have a leap year. Um, so we place that on the century year, like 1700, 1800, 1900, 2100. Apparently after every 400 years, um, we still um, took out uh, the overcorrection or we took out a little bit too much. Um, so we have to place that back in. So every 400 years, there is a leap year. So 2000, 2400, 28 hundred would be uh, leap years uh, by the same principle and so that's sort of a basic understanding of why we have a leap year it's basically uh, correcting uh, the n the number of days because um, a year isn't exactly 365 days so I hope that you learned something and have an excellent day